How's everybody doing? It's uh, first day of hunting season. And needless to say, I don't hunt. Um, had one of my real good friends get shot right through the heart. Kind of took the hunting right out of me. Don't like it anymore. Um, you know, it is what it is. I guess, you know, whatever. But anyway, um, should have been filming earlier. Me and Carol have been putting up a metal bestest chimney. That's the last. Well, I got two more pieces of three foot to put on. Just came, got the ladder. So I thought I'd show you what we've been up to today. So this right here is what we've been up to. Um, this was a big square hole. Just had regular pipe through it and uh, never worked good. So our height is coming out good. We had to build this in. Of course, as you can see, I didn't have one piece of plywood, so it's just pieces, but it's all right. I'll show you the outside. This is the back end and it's coming up good. We uh, may have to adjust it in a couple inches which we've got plenty of travel, about four inches to go in. We had to build a box out to get it standed off there where we needed it. Um, main reason was if you didn't have this, at, this is actually 10 inches, if we didn't have this in here um, with this all the way out we couldn't get by the eaves up there. Oh. You know so anyway that's what we did could have that on the next piece this piece here is going on next but it's got to be hooked to the building um yeah it's coming out good so this right here is what we've been running for years and this is one year's worth of running time the uh moisture and stuff just eats it right up it fills full of creosote because it's cold no insulate and value of a chimney you know and uh yeah so this is uh you know 20, 40, 60, 80, you know, and two elbows, you know, you're over a hundred bucks. So we're gonna have about a thousand bucks, maybe 1100 bucks in this. Time we're all done. Um, 10 years time, hopefully it'll still be good and it'll pay for itself. Even if it only lasts 10 years, the damned aggravation will be worth it. Not having to deal with that every year. Anyway, I'll show you here how things are going in a minute. Well, I didn't show it when I was up there on the ladder, but of course we put the bonnet on top on first and then picked that last piece up, spun it on, put the band on it, really nothing to it. That should work a lot better than last year. Um, yeah, that stuff's going to dump. So anyway, I'll show you the inside. There's one part I don't agree with how they made it and I'll uh, show you how I'm gonna fix it. So this right here is what they give you to end in the building. Screws right in there like so, band goes on it, everything's perfect. But have you ever seen a thimble that you go into on a wall like this? Because we want to be on the inside of that. We do not want to be on the outside. If you're on the outside, it's always wisping smoke out of it. Um, I don't like that way. I'd rather it be on the inside. So, I don't know why they did it that way, but uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, go get a bucking dolly and a hammer and I'm going to take the serrations out of it. I'll smooth it out and I'll go until I can get my adapter, which is right here, to go inside of it. Because as you can tell by the looks of this, you know, we need a band. That takes a double female, but why, why'd they go and even bother crimping that? I don't know, because it shouldn't be crimped. Um, and it don't have to be opened up much, just a little bit. I'll just go around with the bucking dolly, like I say. So I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, I'm gonna put this bucking dolly here on the inside of it. And uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm just going to set it like so and uh, work right around it and I'm going to take these serrations out and uh, yeah but it's going to take a long time so I'm not going to film it I'll show you what I got done here when I get done
Yeah. Put that back in where it belongs. Yeah, look at that, huh? That's how it's supposed to be. Much better. So I'm gonna put the band on this, which is a simple process. I gotta make sure it's screwed in all the way, which it's not. I'm not in there. But I'll get that put in and get a band on it. And I'm gonna to have to actually slide the stove ahead to uh, the furnace ahead. Should call it a furnace, but uh, it does have a blower in it. So anyway, yeah, I'll bring you back in a little bit. We'll see how she goes. Well, I had to move the stove ahead, but uh, she's in there now. The way it should be, everything's going the right direction. So, we'll see if we got any draw here. Oh, look at that. Somebody was thinking ahead. Oh, uh, see what we can do here. Yeah, that stuff's all dry. This, uh, never used to draw good with that regular pipe. So, yeah. That's drawing good. No smoke coming out. Yeah, I like it. I'd say she's a success. <clears throat> yeah, not even any smoke coming out. A little bit, but... Yeah, I'm pretty happy. A lot of money, though. There's uh, $1,200 sitting right there. And... Uh, I don't know, you know, specialized stuff, you know. It's like my father used to say, when I was a kid, you know, and Barron's was, you know, for a trailer were 250 for a Baron. You know, he'd say, Jesus Christ, he says, what the hell are they thinking, that kind of money? I told him one day, I said, you know, Pa, I says, ain't no money. I said, go home, make that. He looked at me for a minute, and he says, well, you can't make it. He says, what are we bitching about for? You know? And that's how I've gone through life. I look at stuff a lot different than my father does. You know, stuff you can't make. Yeah, you may think it's a little heavy up the ass sometimes, but you know, it's a good product. Um, <laughs> they're all through the state of Maine. I mean, everybody runs these damn things. And uh, they're cheaper than, you know, a masonry one. Um, not by a lot, but they are a little cheaper. So, yeah. Yeah, look at that, burning. We used to, well, let's smoke in a little bit. Of course, that pipe's cold, too. But, uh, yeah, that's going to work out good. Pretty happy with that. So, anyway, that's all I did today. Me and Carol, we started out this morning. We had, uh, I think there's, I don't know if it's 9 or 11. I don't know how many actual lifts of dirt out here we've got. And every one of those lifts of dirt has to be put in under cover. And that was, it's an all-day job because, you know, we got to put four of them in this room. So what happened was I came out this morning and we had all this stuff, you know, sitting around that we'd bought. Hadn't had a chance to put it together. And, uh, of course, you couldn't even get to this corner. And I says to Carol, I says, you know, before we put, you know, two lifts of, four lifts of dirt over there. And actually, sometimes we put in six in this house. I guess we put six in here normally. So there'll be six lifts of dirt in this one house. I said, we won't be able to get to the, the wall over here to fix it. So, you know, plan B. So now tomorrow, it's gonna to be another nice day. There's gonna be a dirt moving day. And uh, yeah, so Carol's in there making a, I guess you'd call it a baked chicken and it's baked chicken with um, green peppers and onions and then just a spattering of cheese over the top with some barbecue sauce or some type of sauce glazed over it. It's going to be good. So I'm going to head in for that because she's probably not too far from being ready. Hope you folks enjoyed. Um, <laughs> not doing a lot on the farm right now, just trying to get ready for winter. Anyway, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like. I'd love it if you would. Talk to you later. Well, that needs about another 
five minutes of bacon, and then she's gonna put a little cheese over that. Look at that, huh? Got butternut squash, potatoes, red Pontiacs. Yeah, you wonder why I'm fat, huh? Anyway, hope you folks enjoyed.